here are all the items that I think I'll need to make my project and I'm pretty sure I overdid it but I did that purposely because I wanted to make sure that once I got started I didn't have to stop and run to the store to get anything so everything here totals $20 there are four of these I think these are supposed to be like candy cane things but I'm gonna do something different with those three of these as you can see three of each of these I guess to make a wreath but I'm gonna be doing something completely different um, I don't know if I'm gonna need both of these this I barely need I don't know we'll see and from these two I'm only gonna use one package I'm not sure if I wanted the shallow ones or the taller ones these are a little bit higher um, I do need those I'm not sure about these either so whatever I don't end up using, I probably will return, possibly, or maybe save it for something else, but I will definitely give a final cost once everything is all done. And for my project, I'm copying these candle holders that I found on Ashley Home Store website, and I'll show at the end how much they cost. I started out with this piece here, and I snipped all the pieces apart using wire cutters. And I went ahead and measured to make the three heights of the reindeer. I did um, 12 inches, nine inches, and six inches. So here I'm measuring the nine inch rows and I'm cutting five of those at nine inches. I did five of them at six inches for the smaller one. And then I did five of them at 12 inches for the larger one. So I'm, again, I'm just showing how each piece was cut. I did do equal dimensions for each one because I wanted it to be to scale. And these are just the smaller pieces that I'm going to use. And I'll just mention again, the host, the Latina next door, and the co-host, Measure and Mix. Their channels are linked below as well as the playlist for the other participants. So be sure to check those out when you get a chance. And this is the mesh tube. I only ended up using one package of those. And I'm actually going to put the five longer sticks of each one through the tubing. And I'm showing here the, the 12, the 9, and the 6. Um, I'm demonstrating here using the larger one so I'm just gluing the end of it to hold the mesh tube on each stick. And I'm securing it there and just went ahead and repeated this step and cut off the excess from the bottom. And then I got this candle holder as well. These are hanging ones, of course. And I took out that middle piece and just bent this thing back and forth a few times and it came right off. The glue did not want to stick to this paint on here, so I had to wrap it with the rope in order to attach the pieces that I needed to. So I'm just wrapping it around, trying to cover as much of the surface as possible. And then I'm tying it and cutting off the excess. And then I'm just gluing on four of the sticks and those will be the legs. So I'm putting on these two in the front. And then I'm adding these two that will be in the back. And then this piece is the tail. So I'm bending it back just a little bit. And then I measured about two inches and I use that as the marker to bend this stem because I'm going to use that as the reindeer's face. And I'm gluing on the other end of it. And then just to reinforce all the pieces that I glued, I'm gluing on another strip of that mesh tube. And that did secure it pretty well. Now I'm taking the rope that, um, it comes in a three cord rope, so I'm just taking those pieces apart here, pulling apart the first piece and then the last two pieces, and then I'm going to use those individually. I'm using it on these, which will be part of the reindeer's antlers. I put a little glue on the end of it, and then I wrapped the rope around and then guided it down the rest of the stick. And once I reached the end, I went back down the length of the stick until I reached the other end again, and then I glued that and secured it. And then cut off the little extra pieces. And then I realized I did want this to be bent a little bit, 
So I went and got those little tools and then I bent the first one and then I went ahead and bent the other three. And then I'm taking these two sticks. These are the main pieces of the antlers and I'm bending those because this is where I'm going to glue them to the reindeer's head. But before I do that, I'm bending it one more time just because this is the shape that I'm looking for. I'm gluing two of the smaller pieces to each of the bigger piece, wrapping it with the rope. And I'm gluing as I go to secure it. And when I reach the end, I'm just placing a little bit of glue and then cutting the end of it. And this is how it looks. I'm just gonna repeat that step on this second one and then I do the same thing for each of the other reindeer and glue it on and securing it with rope. And for the face, I'm using this gingerbread man and this is the shape that I came up with and then I'm just gluing that on. And this is how they all look once they are completed before anything else is done. And it was nighttime, but I took these outside and spray painted them with this Rust-Oleum um, spray paint in metallic aged copper. And the last two supplies I used were these little white dots, the fake snow, and these glittery gingerbread men. So I painted the little dots black and glued those on for the eyes, and then I cut the shapes for these ears. And then I added these little decorative pieces. I didn't think I really wanted to use those, but I wanted to match the originals as closely as possible. So this is the final result. All we have to do is add the candles and it is complete. And these are the originals, $88. Originally 180 and then marked down to 88 and mine cost $14 to make in total. These would look great anywhere on a mantle, um, in front of the fireplace, on a shelf. I have mine right now on a bookshelf next to my fireplace and I think I'll end up putting those there when I'm ready to fully decorate for Christmas. I'm just sharing some close-ups now of how everything looks now that it's finished. Um, up close of the antlers and the candles and how everything looks um, very seamless with the spray paint coating. Goes all the way up to the tallest one and here's the middle one. I put them on this fluffy white material to give the look of snow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And you have to hit the notification bell to be sure that you're alerted for future videos. Also, go ahead and leave a comment below to let me know what you think of this um, project as a duplicate of something more expensive. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.